Linda, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. I love you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're very <laughs> you're sweet. sweet. You're very How can we help you? Anyway, I'm calling because there is a man, 39 years old, with stone man disease, where his soft tissues change into bone, and uh, nobody knows how to help. It's only 800 people on this planet with it. Okay, so now stop, 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 stop. When you say the soft tissue turns to bone, are we talking about muscle, like, you know, his muscle in his arms, his muscle in his it. legs? All of muscle tendons. Uh, it's called stone man disease. Oh, stone man. Uh -huh. Like Frank, Olga Peter for short. That's what the medical field is. Okay, so stone man disease. Mm -hmm. Fibrodysplasia ossificans mm -hmm. progressiva in Latin. Okay, okay, fibrodysplasia, I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right. So I and how much does this guy weigh? He's very slim, five eight, like maybe hundred twelve fifty. He's bedridden for over a decade, I think. Now lost function in his feet and hands. And how old is he? How old is he? Nice young suffers. Um, I gave him BTT, the uh, antigen, then get mm -hmm. two vitamin D three and selenium, and I don't know what else to do to help this. Okay, how, uh, see how much? Uh, see how old is he? Thirty nine. Mm -hmm. Does he have any other issues? Any like hiccups or coughing or ringing in the ears or? Well, only recently his cough is getting worse. He's coughing, coughing. Before he was okay. supposedly young, and I don't, I haven't met him, but he was supposedly okay. healthy, and it just for the last I don't know. Okay, well, so, yeah, a lot of times when they have osteoporosis of the skull, they will get what's called COPD and hiccups and that kind of stuff, and Bell's palsy <laughs> and trigeminal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is um, all related to the mineral metabolism in the tissues. So. Charmaine, this guy's 115 pounds. He's a slim guy, 5'8", 39 years old, and he has um, fibrodysplasia, meaning he's got connective tissue, tendon-like material, replacing muscle and that kind of stuff. And what would you what would you guess is going on here? Well, I would guess that he's probably got osteoporosis. He may even have a gluten intolerance where he's not absorbing. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. You get an A+. Plus. You're exactly right. Uh, he's got a gluten problem, and so what's happening here is um, he, he's not putting minerals in the right compartments, and if he can absorb them at all, okay, and he's moving minerals out of his bones into his tendons and out of his bones into the muscles uh, because his body's confused here. And so what would you give him, what would you give him, um, at, at, again, 5'8", 115 pounds? Well, for his issues, I would get him on a gluten-free diet, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, and I would also, no fried foods and no burnt animal fat and no fried foods and no oils, mm -hmm. and I would get him on uh, one healthy bone and joint pack, and I would add to that the MSM and the ProJoint and the vitamin D3 for absorption. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you want to add all this that Char said to what you're doing. Add it to what you're doing. Don't replace it, okay, but add it to what you're already doing. And, of course, it's, he's got to be drop-dead gluten-free, okay? No pancakes, no waffles, no hamburger buns, no croutons in a salad. If he's got a dog or a cat in the house, he's, the dog and cat food's got to be gluten-free, no grains in it, uh, except for maybe rice, okay? And so um, this sort of thing is fibromyalgia. If he has any eczema on his face, they would call it lupus, that kind of stuff. And um, this is reversible. But everybody in the family has got to be drop-dead gluten-free, so there's no cross-contamination in the washer and dryer, no cross-contamination in the food preparation surfaces. And, of course, he's got to supplement very heavily to get those minerals through this damaged small intestine. And you're seeing the results of an intestinal problem here because of malabsorption, because he you know, is really, really sensitive to gluten. Give us a call every couple of weeks. And, Sharon, I love you too, Helena. Okay? And so... Oh, Please do call us every couple of weeks on this guy. And even um, if he can get on the phone, we'd love to talk to him so I can ask him some more detailed questions. Our bodies all create collagen naturally. But as we age, the production of collagen slows down. This can lead to elasticity issues that can cause skin to wrinkle or sag. It can even negatively impact the health of our joints and bones. Collagen Peptide Joint Health Support by Longevity supplements your body's missing collagen. 
With five types of collagen, this unique and powerful solution goes beyond supporting connective tissue to deliver nutrients that specifically target the health of your muscles, bones, and joints. Plus, the added hyaluronic acid, turmeric, MSM, and glucosamine can help improve skin moisture and elasticity while aiding joint comfort and mobility. This combination of ingredients gives you complete joint health support. Collagen Peptide Joint Health Support, the right daily combination of healthy collagen to boost the health of your hair, skin, nails, bones, and joints. To learn more, contact your Longevity Associate.